Over the last couple of decades, actress Katie Seagal has lived in some stunning homes with her husband. These include the Hollywood Hills house they purchased in 2005, the 1.5 acre Bel Air estate that followed, and finally, her current property, a $5.8 million mansion once again in Hollywood. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Katie Seagal is definitely known to some by the name Peggy Bundy. After all, she famously played the character for a decade before Married with Children finally came to an end in the mid-90s. Of course, that's far from her only notable role. She also starred in the ABC sitcom Eight Simple Rules, as well as the voice of Leela from Futurama. After a short but successful singing career backing up legends like Bob Dylan, Bette Midler, and Gene Simmons, Katie would find her own footing as an actor. Once she booked that gig as Peggy Bundy on Married with Children, Children, she'd become a household name. Following the end of that series, Katie would then meet the man who would become her husband, Sons of Anarchy creator Kurt Sutter, another show which Katie starred on in more recent years. After getting hitched, these two would come to own several historic and architecturally unique homes across the city of Los Angeles. Recent headlines suggest their current home is their trendy $5.8 million home in the Hollywood Hills. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And in this one, we're checking out the homes of Katie Seagal. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Katie Seagal acquired her first home with her husband Kurt Sutter in July of 2005 for a reported $3.7 million before then spending a further $1 million renovating the place. While there are very few photos to go along with this property, records suggest that this 7,000 square foot country style home boasts six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and what was originally built prior to World War II in 1937. The house is said to sit on more than half an acre of land and includes mountain and city light views. Inside, its most eye-catching room is the library, but it also has a fully stocked gym and five fireplaces spread throughout, most notably in the blue and white towel kitchen. The property is also said to include a separate office building, as well as a 1,500 square foot guest apartment with a bedroom, bathroom, and its very own kitchen, all of which has been surrounded by a giant gate, turning the entire property into a compound. And with this being LA, the home also includes the entirely necessary and infinity pool as well as the bonus full-size basketball court thrown in. After having spent five years here, Katie and Kurt placed their home on the market with an asking price of $4.75 million in early 2010. Several price drops would follow, but by the end of the year, they were able to find a buyer who offered them $3.77 million. After that, they were off to Bel Air. Resting on a 1.6 acre parcel of land set beyond a lengthy gated driveway, Katie and Kurt's second love nest was largely comprised of wood and glass and never available on the open market. In fact, they bought the home in December 2010 for $3.7 million, nearly exactly what they sold their last home for. Described as a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired treehouse, this 1960s modernist style home was just over 4,500 square feet of open concept living space. There were also five bedrooms and six bathrooms throughout. Highlights include a spacious living room with an incredibly high peaked wood beam ceiling, as well as walls made entirely out of glass. The living room also connects with the dining room via a triangle shaped fireplace. As for the kitchen, it's been updated with concrete countertops, stainless steel appliances, and a cozy breakfast nook that boasts a built-in table and benches. Down a separate wing of the home is where you can find four of the bedrooms, including the master suite that sports a walk-in closet, an ocean view balcony, and a soaking tub. Then the fifth bedroom is up on the top floor, but because it has so much space up there, it also comes with its very own ensuite as well as a walk-in closet. Outside, the home includes some heavily wooded grounds with a 
stone set pool and spa among the grassy lawn. There's also a ton of space out here for entertaining and outdoor dining. Katie would spend close to 10 years living here, but after being tucked away in Bel Air for so long, she needed a change of scenery. So the Hollywood power couple parted ways with this home as well, selling it to the Canada-born but Hong Kong-raised fashion designer Edison Chen in another off-market deal for a whopping $7.7 .7 million. In February of 2022, Katie and Kurt secured themselves a new home in their old neighborhood of the Hollywood Hills for $5.8 million set on a lush green lawn on half a parcel of land. A property that's secured behind a gate and encircled by ancient trees with some dazzling city views. This restored and modernized French Normanesque residence was originally designed by the admired LA architect Arthur R. Kelly, the very same man who once built the legendary Playboy Mansion. Katie's current and newly purchased home was originally built in 1923 and boasts 4,700 square feet inside its main house with four bedrooms, four baths, and a fully equipped guest house. With a home that old, you want to see the period details, and thankfully, this place has managed to hold on to almost all of them, like the carved stone fireplace and the grid of pale wooden beams that run underneath the ceiling in the step-down formal living room. These touches come together with the more modern aspects of the home, which include restaurant-grade appliances in the chef's kitchen, as well as a state-of-the-art cooling roof, which reduces energy use and air pollution. There's even an auxiliary generator located on the premises just in case of a power outage and the entire home has been recently updated with new electrical systems, plumbing systems, and more. At the entry, a classic center hall provides a burst of style, while the nearby formal living and dining rooms are complemented by a sunny breakfast nook. There's also a library and games room, which includes a built-in LP record player in its custom shelves. As for that extremely comfy looking den, well, I'm gonna guess it gets used a lot of lounging and TV watching, considering Katie and Kurt both work in TV. One guest room is set on the main floor and two further bedrooms are located on the second floor. One of these includes its own ensuite. The master suite is also located on the second floor and offers its occupants a fireplace, a private sun deck, a vintage style bathroom with heated floors, a steam shower, and two massive walk-in closets. The third and final floor is mainly a finished attic that can be used for whatever you need. The backyard can be reached through a number of rooms in the house thanks to a series of lovely French doors, all of which lead out to a tree-shaded courtyard. There's also a red brick terrace that spans the full width of the house and overlooks the garden. Finally, the guest house is set on top of a detached three-car garage and provides plenty of space for any long-term guests that might drop by for a visit. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest Katie Seagal house tour to a close. Please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If there's anyone else you want to see us profile in this series, leave their names in the comments down below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.